Good Friday afternoon, everyone. In today's video, we are once again going to be looking at the severe weather outbreak that's going to be expected for Saturday. Uh, this will bring possible tornadoes, severe winds in excess of 75 miles per hour, as well as large hail. So we're going to be discussing all of what's going to happen tomorrow. And if I could possibly live stream this as things might get pretty hectic. All right. This is the Storm Prediction Center outlook for tomorrow. As you can see, this is the day two convective outlook. So this is the severe thunderstorm outlook that we're looking at. We do have an enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms. That's in the orange, including portions of southeastern Minnesota is in that enhanced. Northeastern Iowa is included. And also the majority of central and southern Wisconsin has included in that risk we also have a slight risk surrounding that that's including the majority of wisconsin uh, including the majority of southern the southern pretty much southern half of minnesota as well as the northern half of iowa a little bit of northeastern nebraska is included in that slight risk those are the main areas for tomorrow that's expecting some of that significant severe weather as we look at the tornado risk here we do so far have a five percent chance for tornadoes this could be upgraded in future outlooks it may depend on the tornado ingredients uh in my opinion i don't think it will be upgraded but there is a chance uh, that there could be a small 10 percent chance for tornadoes placed somewhere in that five percent risk now we do have a, a significant chance for severe winds in fact a 75 mile per hour winds could be possible within some storms tomorrow within that hatched red area it's a 30 percent chance for those severe winds also in the 15 percent in the five percent that's a chance for 60 mile per hour wind gusts we also do have a chance for hail in fact a significant chance for hail so we're talking over two inch plus size tail could be possible again with those storms in mostly of wisconsin and minnesota let's look at the future weather here for saturday as you can see this is going to be around 6 a.m of saturday so early morning hours we are already seeing some strong storms over there in northern indiana we're also seeing some very strong storms already in the, in the morning hours uh, in northeastern north dakota that's going to be headed into minnesota over the morning hours, as you can see, this is heading into southern Minnesota by around 8 a.m. Central. And uh, we are still seeing some very intense storms uh, around 8 a.m. Those will continue southeastward as they still look very strong here by the lunchtime hour. This is going to be 12 p.m. Uh, and as we head even further into 1 p.m. here, this continues its movement into Wisconsin. That's where it's going to bring that main threat for damaging winds and possible embedded tornadoes. Uh, this is again going to be heading towards uh, the Green Bay, the Chicago area here as we get more possible cells developing over here. Southern Wisconsin, Iowa, as well as Nebraska possible cells developing along that uh, behind that line and those may bring a, a threat for possible hail producing storms as you head throughout the evening hours now let's time track this this is going to be headed towards the chicago area by around 6 p.m and that's going to be headed towards around 8 p.m where we get more scattered storms in northern illinois we get more uh cellular super cellular type storms around 10 p.m again in southern minnesota we're seeing some stronger storms over here in wisconsin kind of a widespread event as you head throughout those uh, late evening hours look at that more storms for southern wisconsin as you head through 1 a.m there uh, and that heads to michigan where you could ex expect a very stormy night uh throughout pretty much the entire state of michigan and even more storms will be headed towards the chicago area around 6 a.m of sunday uh so that was just stay where they were aware especially for tomorrow i might live stream this as you will see some very strong storms here main threat is damaging winds but again hail and tornadoes are all possible within this cluster of storms for tomorrow as you can see this is a significant tornado parameter and i generally definitely i don't think a 10 percent chance for tornadoes is going to be issued for this mainly because as we look at our significant tornado parameters pretty much the risk for tornadoes developing at a certain point this is kind of the tornado ingredient models all mixed together into one single model so it makes it it makes it easy for us to look at and as you can see, there's really not much areas, not really much hot spots that this cluster of storms is really going to hit. Uh, we do have some possible spots here where this cluster of storms may enter and possibly produce spots of rotations. We may 
We probably will see some, a couple of tornado warnings for tomorrow, uh, but nothing significant for tornadoes, especially mainly for that wind event. This could definitely be a derecho as it will start off over here in northern Dakota and then head all the way through here into the Chicago area. So that would be a possible derecho for tomorrow, a derecho type event. Uh, we're not sure if it will actually be a derecho. It has us have a certain amount of wind reports and also be going over a certain amount of time to be signified as that derecho strength so again that main threat is very damaging winds and an excess of maybe even 80 miles per hour for tomorrow stay tuned for a live stream and also make sure to share this video with any friends or family that may like th that might need this information uh, for this again significant event that might be unfolding for tomorrow this is derecho season after all so it's definitely well could be uh, one of those derecho type events here. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. We will have constant updates on this. Also, make sure to like the video, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.